the world is saying goodbye to a beloved actor and one of our best friends. Matthew Perry was just 54 years old when he died in his Los Angeles home on Saturday. He was found unresponsive in his hot tub. Now, the cause of death is still unknown pending toxicology testing. Perry was best known for playing Chandler Bing on the beloved sitcom Friends. And tonight, his co-star is releasing a statement saying, we are all so utterly devastated by the loss of Matthew. We were more than just castmates. We are a family. There is so much to say, but right now we're going to take a moment to grieve and process this unfathomable loss. My next guest is executive producer of Friends, Kevin Bright. Kevin, thank you so much for joining us this evening. It is Unbelievably sad news to think about the loss of someone that so many of us feel like we knew personally, watching him for the better part of three decades. I mean, we knew Chandler Bing, but you knew Matthew Perry. And I'm wondering if you can reflect a little bit about what his loss means to you tonight. Laura, thanks for having me. It's uh, obviously very tragic that Matthew's life should end it. 54, um, and especially at a point in his life where he seemed to have conquered the demons that plagued him for so long. And uh, he was on a mission to help people, and uh, that's what he was focused on, I know, uh, speaking to him a few months before. The last time you spoke to him, did he seem like he was happy and in and, and good spirits? Oh, yeah. No, he was very up. He was uh, very much uh, invested in the projects uh, in terms of addiction that he was pursuing and uh, also was uh, looking to make movies again. So he was very up. I mean, you've known him since he was, what, I mean, 24 years old. You forget, he was 24 years old when he started on Friends. And you just forget how young he was because so many of us are watching it in real time right now and think of him frozen in time as forever that person for those incredible 10 seasons. You know, Perry and his co-stars, as they wrote about, they were more than just castmates. They were a family. And in fact, here he is reflecting on their bond back in HBO Max's really highly anticipated and beloved 2021 Friends reunion special. Listen. The best way that I can describe it is after the show was over at a party or any, any kind of social gathering, if one of us bumped into each other, that was it. That was the end of the night. You just sat with that sat yeah. with the person mm -hmm. all That's night true. long. I remember that. Yeah. And that was it. You apologized to the people you were with, but they had to understand you had met somebody special to you and you were going to talk to that person for the rest of the night. <laughs> I mean, talk to us about that bond and really how it also translated to the need to protect one another and to protect Matthew. Well, you know, the, the cast for every episode from the very beginning would gather backstage and they would huddle before they would go out. And so, and uh, then they would, you know, gathered during the day in between rehearsal and the lunches together. So it really was a family kind of situation. And uh, I think, you know, with for Matthew, with all of his his troubles over the years, I think this cast really, uh, you know, supported him in a way that allowed him to be the comic genius that he was. I think without that perfect cast around him, you know, it could have been a different story. But uh I also, you know, his relationship uh, with Joey, you know, the Chandler and Joey, I think it was something very special uh, that we hadn't seen before on TV. They were like the odd couple next door. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so. I mean, the, the magic of that show, and I, I can tell you, some, sometimes people have the misimpression that um, those who are in comedy um, either are not as talented or as great of an actor or artist. They think that comedy somehow is a lesser form. It's certainly not. It's one of the hardest things to pull off, to land the lines time after time, night after night, in a way that makes people relate to them in such a way. 
and deliver some of the most iconic moments of this beloved show. Um, and yet, what a contrast to this beautiful, raw, vulnerable memoir that he released, where he really talks about just how vulnerable he really was. Were you aware at the time when all this was going, that those were the struggles that he was facing? And if so, were you surprised that he shared them with the world? Um, we were aware that he was facing personal struggles. And there were times where he had to leave the show for several months uh, to go to rehab. But, uh, you know, in general, I think that the show supported him him in a way for those years and, uh, you know, just allowed him to um, be in the struggle, you know? (laughs) You know, he has been using his platform and he had been using his platform um, to really be a guiding light, to be a force of influence for so many people who are battling addiction, but also saw him as one of them, which made it all the more powerful. He had, a, he had a choice and he chose to use his platform. But there are so many iconic moments. I'm sure you've been watching social media and seeing that people have been sharing all their favorite, either Chandler Bing lines or moments that they love. I want to share for the audience one of your favorites. You make me happier than I ever thought I could be. And if you let me, I will spend the rest of my life trying to make you feel the same way. (laughs) Monica, will you marry me? Yes. moment still makes you smile. Why? Yeah. Um, well, because, you know, we, we were rooting for Monica and Chandler all along. I think that was the thing about their relationship. I remember when we were in London and uh, we did the London wedding and we revealed the relationship for the first time. Matthew and Courtney came out from under those covers. It was just like gangbusters for uh, minutes in that place. It's just the applause would not stop. Wow. Well, a testament to the actor who was there. And even to this day, Kevin Bright, the applause does not stop for Matthew Perry. Thank you for sharing a little bit with us tonight. Thank you, Laura. We'll be right back. <laughs> 